This hashtag proud to create video was generally very positive and very good. There is nobody in the media that is exactly like me, yet there are hundreds of people that relate a lot to me. Very positive. Yeah, I've been told to tone it down. And now I take it as fuel. I'm a queer person. I am so powerful. It's a good thing to tell people that they have some power. But what happens when things get overstated? Or what happens when they expect to have power and they don't? Again, a good message, a decent message. Yes, we create our future. That's a good message. Young people who are shaping their identities through digital media, through performance, through dance. It's alive, you know what I mean? So far, this is something that I don't understand why anyone would have a real problem with it. When you look at the like to dislike ratio of the video, you'll see what I mean. I'll leave a link to it in the description bar. And it goes a little something like this. That's what I'm doing with my work. I'm trying to create hope. I'm trying to represent lesbian, queer, and transgender culture with my work. Again, everything seems all right so far. But... Our queerness is the reason why we are great. It's not just a side thing. Oh, they're an amazing artist, but they just happen to be queer. We are amazing because we are queer. And there lies the problem. I'm sure it's very positive for those that are LGBTQ. But for everyone else, it's essentially saying, well, you'll never be as special and creative and amazing as us queer people. Yeah, not, not such a good message. We sort of encourage each other to create the kind of future that we want to see and to come together because that's the only way, really. And we're back to something that I, I don't know how people could really complain about. We're simply changing the world. We've certainly had a big impact, especially in the entertainment industry. And now my only complaint is that the rainbow animation that they have has an extra frame.